Hello guys and welcome to another video. So today we are going to be hunting red for the falls as you guys can see. Um, we will be, oh, our target species is Roosevelt Elk. So yeah, today is going to be a Roosevelt Elk hunt and there's not much else to that. I think my next video will probably be a trophy lodge tour just to show you guys around and I hope you guys will enjoy that kind of video I'm not sure how you guys feel about that kind of video but that is my thought pattern for the next video but yeah as I said today is going to be just a wander around looking for Roosevelt Elk and yeah so I do have competitions active for Roosevelt Elk and um, I think the competitions are uh, yeah, highest scoring Roosevelt Elk Bull and then also the combined weight of your 5 heaviest cow elk but I probably won't show me shooting any cow elk because as you guys know that is definitely not not interesting unless it's a rare or something however just shooting cows in general is not um, interesting so I'll probably cut all of that out of the video but um, yeah this intro is getting along so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys out there okay guys so I am bringing you back because obviously I have a monster Roosevelt elk in front of me I've got to get the shot off very quickly now oh and I missed him fudge Okay guys, so this is hopefully going to be the first um, Roosevelt elk bull on the ground. Um, really been having quite a few problems with lag and that right there. Come on, just shoot you stupid. Thank you. So, there again guys, I really can't wait for my new PC. Then I will not be having these problems with low graphics and misclicking and um, lagging all of that nice stuff but yeah I don't know if I will include this clip I probably will since I like you guys knowing everything that's going on um, I mean this clip of this bull and I think it may be 370s I don't know I'm not the best at guessing Roosevelt elk I tend to get that wrong a lot, but he did have two deductions that I definitely saw, and this this is a nice bull. He's probably gonna be three twenties, but you see now this is a he's he's got three back tines on each side. It looks like a four actually at this point. Yeah, he's got four back tines, but he's got a lot of deductions, and his main frame is what lets him down a lot. The other one that I spooked has a massive main frame. So, hopefully those main beams help him out. Oh, his estimate only went up to two, ah, 325. 337 is a pretty nice bull. That gives me 6th place in the comp. Definitely not going to hold 6th place. But, um, yeah, hopefully the other one's at least a 370s and will get me top 3. But we shall see. So, I'll bring you guys back once something happens. Okay, guys. So, <clears throat> we found this bull again. And I am not going to be wasting my time again by tracking this bull for a third or fourth time. Can't remember anymore. I've been tracking this guy so many times. So as you guys can see, he's got a he's got great um, main beams, and hmm, yeah, he's got a great or well, a huge frame. But I see one or two deductions, or actually two deductions at least. So I'm thinking with those deductions he'll probably three, be 370s, that is what I'm hoping for, but um, he's definitely going to be uh, 350s plus at least, at the very least. Otherwise my Roosevelt Elk uh, guessing skills are really off, but as you guys can see I'll show you guys now. Um, 
I first spotted him right there. And I missed him there for the first time because the snake bite is very slow to pulling out and drawing back. And I missed him because he fled just as I shot. And I tracked him down to the lake. And then I missed him again because he fled as I shot again. And so then I shot one at the lake as well. And then I tracked him down to ya. So I just decided to shoot him with 300 because he is a very nice bull. And I don't want to lose him and track him again. But there, as you guys can see, he's got two drop times on his left antler. And he's got two very long back times on each side. He's got a very nice mainframe. So... Now let's just look at him from the front. Oh, pff, pressed the wrong button. He's got a very low weight actually. 380.6. That is my third ever 380 plus. That is a monster. Um, that will give me second place in the comp actually. But <laughs> not the biggest bull in the world. But uh, I actually want to check he, um, his subtotal because... He does have those two. I'll zoom into those now quickly for you guys. But he's got yeah those two drop tines on his left antler. No right no right antler. Yeah sorry, I get confused when I'm looking at him from my perspective. Uh, perspective. But yeah, I will set up a trophy shot and bring you guys back when that's set up. Okay guys, so I've got this trophy shot uh, trophy shot set up. Um. He's actually uneven now that I look at it. His main beams are very uneven. Um, but I like that. Not a bad trophy shot. I might actually just center that a bit more. Not really centered. That's going to irritate me. But yeah, 380 is a very big ball. <laughs> Unfortunately, not my PB. I've got two that scored 388. Uh, this is actually. I decided today I'm going to start grinding Roosevelt Elk again because at a stage I was grinding them very hard to get a 400 plus but unfortunately I never got that I got two 388s in the same hunt and that's the day I gave up on my grind because I just got too irritated with the grind then because I came so close yet so far in one hunt with two monsters so um, I decided to stop grinding them for a while and today was the first day I actually decided to physically go out looking for a 400 plus again and that's with actually the first bull I saw not the first bull I shot because obviously since he was big he spooked very quickly but yeah I'm very happy with that that is a monster or a, a big Roosevelt Elf not a true monster a true monster would be 390 plus 400s up there but yeah, I'm very happy with that bull, and I will bring you guys back when I find something else. Okay guys, so I just shot this cow in front of me here, and this bull that I was probably, it's probably the one that I was tracking, showed up, and he just spotted me. So he is down. Um... There is another cow on my right, but yeah, I'll bring you guys back when I pick him up because cows are definitely nothing interesting. Okay, guys, he has this bull. Let us pick him up and see what he scores. It's probably just, <laughs> well, obviously a tiny bull, but yeah, 159. Nothing special at all. So, yeah, I will uh, bring you guys back when I find something else. Okay guys, so I'm bringing you back because there are four small bull elk in front of me. They are all super small. I will not be surprised if they all score under 200. And there's a lag spike which we always like. Okay, so the first one is down. Um, depending on how long the second one comes takes to come in. We will either re up. Um, Looks like he's coming in now, so we'll actually not cut this clip. Hmm. 
Yeah, definitely. I only see four. I don't see a fifth one. So, actually, that might be a fifth one there, just behind this one that's coming in. Oh wow, that looks like a decent one. Um. Okay, so he's taken care of. But I'll bring you guys back when the next one comes in. Okay, so the next one comes in. They're actually all small bulls. None of them are decent or anything so that is unfortunate however it is more bulls we've gone quite a while without any bulls so i'm definitely not going to complain about the fact that we are finally getting bulls again <sighs> to be honest i do not know how i did not drop him but yeah that's unfortunate would have liked to have dropped him So we got the two loot that we dropped the two smallest ones and shot the other one badly. Oh, he's there. He goes. Let me just mark that so I can at least find him very or relatively easily. And these are two of the smallest bulls ever. Granted, I've shot smaller, but I haven't shot bulls this small in such in a long time. Under 100, this guy might be 100, 110 actually. Um, since he's got more points, yeah, 112. But yeah, it looks like it was a long shot on that guy, and. I'll track him down and bring you guys back when I find him. Okay guys, so while I was tracking down that bull that I w wounded, uh, this guy called. So let us try and get him down quickly. Oh, that's another bull. How that n did not drop him, I am seriously not sure. But he is definitely stuck, so might as well take advantage of that because I definitely don't want to track down another bull. Please just stay stuck until I've shot you. Because I have already gone a lot further north than what I planned. But however, it seems like a good spot, so I'm not too disappointed that the that these bulls have brought me this far north. I did find a new track, uh, not the heaviest of tracks, however that 380 that we shot right in the beginning of the hunt was 420 kilogram elk, which is very low weight for Roosevelt elk, so I probably would track that down. However, if it is below, I can't remember what the exact weight is, but if it is, if its max weight is below uh, 400, then or maxes at 400 then I'm probably not going to track him however that's another bull elk down we did start off pretty well but it's gone downhill from there however I don't mind after that start after that 380 bull I will take anything at this point literally anything because that is not very often that you get a 380 plus but yeah I'll bring you guys back when either that other bull comes in or I find the one that I'll track him Okay, so I literally took two steps after I shot that other bull and I got a call right next to me and if my bow will just draw back I can maybe get a shot on this guy and if it will just click to shoot. Oh, this is what I hate about lag. But yeah, I'll bring you guys back when I find those two wounded elk. So, this bull actually didn't go far. I hit him in the spine as he turned to run. So, got a lucky shot on him. But we'll take him out of the heavy recurve since I do not want to waste any traces. Um, yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Spine 3, so yeah. Well, not unfortunate, it's actually fortunate that we got him down so quickly. We didn't have to track him as well as the other one. But, yeah, 
We'll try and find that guy and bring you guys back when we find him. Okay, guys, so we found this bull. He was not far from the other guy. Um, yeah, I assumed as much that it was going to be a single long shot, 187 bull. Very small bulls. Um, however, at least still getting uh, Roosevelt elk bulls. For those of you that do hunt Roosevelt elk, um, you should know that finding them is quite a mission. You either get a lot of cows or the bulls are few and far between. But this hunt's actually been pretty decent bull wise. Um, numbers wise actually, I mean size wise it's been great. Um, I know my reaction for that 380 was maybe a bit more than it should have been for 380 but it's been a long time since I've had a big one. But yeah, I'll bring you guys back when I find the next one. Okay guys, so um, I have been going for quite a while now, a few hours actually. And got this decent looking bull elk. He's probably be 340s at the most, maybe 350s, but 350s is pushing it. He's really not big. And oh, he's actually got a friend with him. But I'm just gonna take him quickly because I'm getting frustrated at the moment because my game is lagging way too much. And down he goes. Let us see if we can't maybe actually get that other one down. Uh, don't know where he went. Uh, oh, there he goes. So I'm not going to worry too much about him. Just a little guy. And as you guys can see, that was probably like a 5 meter shot with 300. But these elk have been very spooky today, and the snake bite's a bit slow. I probably should have brought the pulse instead of the snake bite. I guess we learn from our mistakes. So let us pick him up and see what he scores. Uh, oh wow, I was way off with my guess. 308. Yeah, as I said in the beginning, I really can't. Um, uh, guess Roosevelt elk scores um, but yeah I think that's gonna be the video right there guys so I will probably get you guys in the outro okay guys so that's gonna be the hunt right there I am pretty happy with how that hunt turned out especially with getting that 380 scoring bull Roosevelt elk there and numbers wise it was actually pretty decent just should have had a different bow with me to the pulser Pulse is a ugh, I mean the snake bite. The snake bite is a bit slow for elk. Um, yeah, I don't know. They spooked super quickly today. Uh, lag spikes every time I drew back. So I definitely can't wait for my new PC. That is going to be so much fun. Um, it's going to feel so much different. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one.